Hey either everyone, how's it going? Broads here, welcome. So today we um checked out Kion's Ordeal. We did our first 48 player raid. Um, so it took a while to uh, get all the teams organized. It is actually quite hard to organize 40 odd players. Sort of have to use um, like Discord or something outside of the game to get all that organized. But once we finally got in here, we got into our four groups of 12. We're getting ready to go into the boss. So there's four bosses in Kion's Ordeal. Ideally you want to kill them all around the same time as otherwise they enrage and then you start taking a whole lot more damage and it becomes a lot harder. So let's dive into my match. So my team that I was on, we are going up against Zolthrax. So let's dive in here. Alright, so just a heads up, my phone did struggle a little bit. I had a bit of lag, a bit of um, FPS drops for some reason. My phone wasn't very happy today. But um, all in all, it was okay. I assume this is going to be a bit more optimized on release as well. But, um, hopefully it shouldn't struggle too much on release, but I definitely had a little bit of issues. So the boss itself, this one was a little bit annoying. He jumps around all over the place. He has 25 a million health, which he's basically just a big meat shield. We're just slaying him, just smashing him up. There's a little bit of lag. He was fairly easy to kill. The bosses went down fairly quick. I think ours was one of the slow ones just because he was jumping around everywhere. My hatred is diminished. He didn't seem to really do too much damage, but this was just um this was the very first difficulty. We haven't unlocked any of the other difficulty stages just yet. So we didn't expect the bosses to be too strong. They just have a ton of health. Almost got him here. The other teams have uh, slowed down a little bit so we could all sort of finish at the same time. Which was good work. It was some great coordination to get that happening. Then once we get about 10%, everyone just sort of gets back into it and pretty much bosses are all killed around the same time, which is good. Which is pretty much what you want to avoid the enrage. And GG, so that's the very first Kion's ordeal done. We will get to do some more. They are very expensive. That one was like 30,000 Essentia to complete, which takes a while to get. And then at the end, everyone gets this chest. I got lucky. I got a, I got a legendary item and two charms. Some people didn't get legendaries. Seems to be a little bit random as to uh, what it drops. And then there's this other reward stage as well at the end, which um, it's a little bit weird. So we go here, we get our um, Deidess's Blessing, which is a nice little buff for everyone. And then you end up in this reward stage where there's four rounds of rewards. So each round has different items, with round three and four having um, legendary items in there. But the thing about this is that it's random as to who gets the reward. So you stand in one of the circles, and then one person out of each circle will be chosen to get a reward. This is basically a lucky roll of the dice, effectively. So it's a bit, um... I don't know, it's a bit silly, I guess. You have 48 players and they're all, like, trying to get, like, this one ring or whatever. Yo, <laughs> your chances of getting something is not great. So I'm not really sure what the whole point of this really was. I would like to see um, the rewards changed for this because this is a little bit odd. I did end up getting a legendary from this though, um, but I guess I got lucky. So yeah guys, that's the first Kion's Ordeal. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I have some more content coming out soon. Uh, hopefully I think maybe next week we might have a Rite of Exile to show you. And next week we should also be able to defend the vault as well, so we'll be able to do that and give you some footage of uh, defending the vault against the shadows. Alright, thanks for watching guys, take care and I'll see you again soon.